it with Lane uh, in a little while. What, what are we looking for in seven on seven? And how about what this offense could look like under Jackson Dart, the freedom that he has to run it as he sees. Hello, mesh concept. You find your tight end. He's going to be a big part of their offense again. And I alluded. To Amos had him locked up, so he goes over the middle, and it's knocked away. So, so far, Jackson Dart has utilized the tight end, and now the running back for the blue team. Simmons gets picked off on his first pass. And the red team will dance in with the touchdown. They're starting seven, eight yards deep. It really sucks up a lot of those holes for those throws underneath. They actually mark a few plays and a few defenses, so we really analyze it doesn't do us a whole lot of good, and you potentially get injuries. And um, so we just weighed that, and then we said, okay, well, let's make it like the chestnut. We could figure that thing out. And then a skills challenge and a relay race. So we just tried to football. <laughs> He just gets to sit back do, there in the pocket, and take five or yeah. six seconds. Except he didn't read the rules that they got to make it do the 20 to make that first first down. So he was off the 17. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, you know, this is the SEC and it's a long season. And so looking at it where our strengths were the skill positions, sometimes they were not in. I don't want to give anything away, but uh, but Joey's here. I've met with him before. And here's a good story for everybody out there. Don't quit the first. in the SEC telling me, hey, man, you won't believe how many injuries we've been through in spring. Why didn't I think of doing what you're doing today down you know what it, here's my here's my gripe with that you're gonna do a little pop pass on a workout so I love the concept players love the concept and I think the fans do as well but too much muster on that one through the back of the end zone the stance that there's also a portal that opens up on Monday uh, so from a depth chart standpoint I think that plays into it but also do everything block catch protect in the pass game in the run game Oh, oh, big fella, oh, getting in a little shovel pass. JJ, P throw deep, throw oh, yeah. deep. Why not? Into double coverage and falls incomplete. In a series that dates back to the 1860s. Uh, what is what is the role of a backup quarterback? You can huge plays with your legs. Can you come in when you need to and run this high tempo offense without missing a beat? You're going to be a different player, right? They don't. Simmons surveys and he goes underneath. And a throwback. Why not? He was down before he got rid of it. I'm trying to get this last week, named the number one small college town in America by USA Today. And a complete step into a bigger role. Logan Diggs, the transfer from LSU, was of note as well. He may or may not be healthy by the time the season roll around. Deep ball, and now it's, and it is. Because they're coming right at us right now. Coming right at you. A little option look. Free ball. Where you fumble, you're down. Okay, yeah. So Blue's going to retain it here. Oh, wouldn't you love the... That A.J. Maddox has made that was big time. Second time I've seen him drop that arm slot completely down, sidearm, throwing around defender. Defense isn't lined up. They're just standing in front of you. So got to be able to change that arm angle. Another really good throw, Aiden Williams. This off the motion with hot dogs look like practice session uh like how many dude it, well in the beginning it's like any like marathon runners don't start off at 26 miles my, my, it, it, but you have to come back and you have to come back stronger and uh it, it, it's, it's how what you do after you lose and it, that, that's what it really makes us hey before i let you go uh Oxford's a great place it's a great place these guys girls going to school here are so lucky and uh I'm, I'm just happy i'm out here to hang out with everybody for a couple days is a perfect salesman it's what makes him such a great recruiter and his idea to bring in Joey Chestnut to strikes again. Uh, it looks like Jackson Dart is getting loose. It might be going back in, in the next red possession. Red taking advantage of it, and they're doing it once again this year. You had a couple of offensive linemen from the University of Washington. 
You get a great defensive tackle from Texas State. They're not done. There's, there's likely roster transition continues through the next 30. And has experience. Two of them have experience in a national championship. Two guys from Washington. You get a left tackle from North Carolina. Started third. As we mentioned, they dress through the portal. Going to be a big reason they'll have an opportunity to do so. I don't know if you noticed, but Jackson Dart is working with a golden football here this quarter. To now when who he's going to be this fall. Throw back to him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. And the center's out in front of him. Please don't get hurt. Please don't get hurt. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me about your... I actually had a couple of players and our manager guy say that's the most impressive thing they've seen in life. Kind of like when you go to an NBA game and on TV they seem big. Roll for a backup quarterback behind a guy like Dart going into the fall. Well, they always got to be ready. You know, they're one play away and they got to continue to develop. Oh, that's going the other way. Seven seconds left in the third quarter. Blue needs all the help and all the points they can find. <laughs> are they playing? It's not that way anymore. Whose Spotify playlist are we rocking today? All right, we got an obstacle course coming up. If, if we crawl and then the high jump pit, you got to clear that bar, and we are off and running. After rolling a tire, this is. Did we walk into the CrossFit games? What happened? Where are we? For, for me and him, is like, I want to understand that every time he calls a play, what he's looking at, what he's looking for to attack. So uh, there's a lot of. Jordan, did you notice as you're talking to Jackson Dart, by the way, for an offense? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, Burrow had a lot of freedom to check things at the line of scrimmage, concepts, routes, and they come on the horses with the poles. Real horses. You wanted to have real horses and real jousting. <laughs> yeah. And going to shove ahead with the golf cart. Oh, Red's coming back. Dubious origin, yet it has Red out with a three-point lead. Aiden Williams, another guy that it doesn't trust me. Yes, <laughs> trendsetter. That kick oh. is right on the money and good. Just snuck it in the left upright. Howard redshirted the year at LSU, oh. and he gets picked off on the first pick of this one. Oh, and Luke's another guy that they added in the portal. He's a guy, Juco wide receiver initially. Played. That makes us better at all three levels. When you don't have to try and maneuver something, you just let your guys go out and play. And Pete shared with us is, is not uncommon for average to good teams. Elite teams don't have to worry about that, right? 98 can play man-to-man -man on the back end with anybody in the conference. So that changes up what they're able to do in some of the pressure game as well when they do want to. But it's going to be a defense that can get out. What drives the recruiting side of all of this? Dart just fires a bullet over the middle. A little bit late and a hair behind. Ten and rolling. Jason Albert. Oh, a few balls. Why not? All those hot dogs, that those beanie weenies are looking worse and worse. They'll probably just chop those up and throw them in. Heavy on offensive skill, guys. And Biggs up front. Well, Biggs have no role in this game. So, but the offensive skill guys and the leadership counts on red. Wheel round near side. He's going. Oh! What game? Mac Owen, the sophomore receiver. For the lead, late in the game. Back to the end zone. He got one foot down. Oh, I think it's right here. All right. No, it was somewhere. AJ Maddox, Hattiesburg native, rips one over the middle. And that's a first down for Blue with 50. What a play in the back end. That was beautiful. Kane Davis, last play of the game. Oh, it was one. No 